have we gone back in time? This looks almost like Hina's first year videos, but her hair is not blue, and it's shorter, and the posters are in the wrong place. What's going on? Okay, before I start, I just want to say thank God it's not vlog every day May. Lord, I would not have survived that. I've been way, way too busy since this month has started. Like, crazy, insanely, insanely, insanely busy. It's been so fast, and I have so much to say, so I'm going to try to get it all done in one video, and if I can't, then I'll make two. Alright, so here's what's been going on. So, last week I went to Newfoundland. I went to Newfoundland because I wanted to check out two schools so that I could go there for my BED. I checked out both schools. It was insanely warm in Newfoundland, which is odd because Newfoundland's not supposed to be warm, at least not in May. But both campuses were really lovely. I don't really like the one that's in St. John's only because it is nine hours away and also really big. And also there's a thing about the residents that I don't really enjoy, but I'm not going to get into that because I'm not enough time. So, we didn't get out on the ferry in time. I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning, drove to the ferry, Got we arrived there at 9, we were supposed to get on 11 and leave, but they board, didn't board us until 12 and we didn't get off out of the, we didn't leave until 2, the ferry didn't take off until 2. We didn't arrive in Newfoundland until 12 at night, which is like 10 hours and it's only supposed to take 8 hours, but it was bad weather, so whatever. But it was a really long time to be like stuck on vehicles, and then we got a hotel for the night. We went to Corner Brook the next morning. I visited the campus. It was nice. It was awesome. Uh, we went to sleep. The next day, we drove up to St. John's. Uh, I do not like downtown St. John's. Way too compact. Really big space, but everything's really, like, tight together. Then you get into, like, more of St. John's, and it's actually really huge and not as close together, and it's really kind of crazy. So we went to the school in St. John's, and I was fine, and we went back to Corner Brook because we had to drive back to the ferry, but there wasn't really enough time to do, a, like, a nine-hour drive, so we did a seven-hour drive, and then we did a two-hour drive. And I didn't really like the hotel that we stayed in Corner Brook. The first hotel we stayed in was great, but it didn't have a pool. The second hotel we stayed in was horrible, but it did have a pool. So I like the first hotel better. If I decide to go there for my BED, then I'm definitely staying in the first hotel, not the second hotel for the night before I move in, because you just need to stay at a hotel the night before you move in. That way you can move in, like, first thing in the morning, and then you have less, t then you have more time to do the moving in. All right. So then we got on the ferry uh, to go back home, and that was cool. I got my bangs cut. You can't see it because I pulled my hair back. I'm sorry. You'll see it some other time when I make another video. We got back on the ferry. It was fine. We got a cabin for the night because it was from 1130 at night till whatever in the morning. Uh, the room was really cold. It wasn't until the middle of the day, night that my dad got the heat turned on perfectly, and that was great. But I don't really like ferries because they make me sick to my stomach. I get motion sickness. It's a lot of things. Whatever. We got back to how we got back home. It turns out our fridge broke while we were gone. My brother was home. He called us and told us this, and this is really bad. And so the house stinks. We had to throw out all our food. So then I'm packing up to get back to school because I'm going to be at school doing Italian for the next seven weeks. So that was really crazy. And my brother got mad at me the day that I was moving in because I was like. You have too much stuff. And I was like, I'm sorry, I don't need to have so much stuff. You're the one that told me I should bring a TV and a PS2. And he's like, well, I want you to be entertained when you're not in class. I said, thank you. So, eh. So we ran and we, we rushed and we went to move me in. We opened the hatch to the, we opened the hatch to the minivan and out falls my milk. It breaks. Not the whole jug, just a little crack in the bottom. So we have to keep it upside down the whole time that we're gone and try to look for a picture for it. We get into my room. Hey, the closet's broken. Oh, we'll put you in another room. Do you mind being in the basement? No. Huge room in the basement. Much bigger than the room that I was going to be in. I'm very happy. Except for, it's kind of cold. And the blend's broken. But whatever. We find a picture for my milk. We go and get some dinner. I move into the room. It's a little cold at night, but I'm fine. I get settled the next day. And I go to class. It is fine. It is actually insanely freezing Monday night. I am so cold that I get sick. They offer to move me to another room. And I move in the middle of the night. Just my blankets and myself. All day Tuesday, I spend moving my stuff back and forth. I think it's only going to take two hours, so I wait to have breakfast. Unfortunately, because they don't actually have any boxes since I sent them all home, it takes me seven hours. I go crazy. Also, I called in the middle of the night on Monday to get some stuff sent over, including hot, including warm pajamas and a warmer blanket. So my brother comes up, and he helps me with the last bit of my cleaning, and I get to see him, and I'm really happy because it's his birthday on the 20th, and I don't get to see him on his birthday. He's going to call me up. This is the first birthday that I'm going to miss with him, but he's going to come and see me on Friday after his birthday and we're gonna celebrate and it'll be really awesome. So anyways, I spent the whole day moving and then I went to class and that was fine. But then I got back to my room after class and I had insane hiccups, like insane, insane, insane hiccups. 
really bad. So I asked people what to do, and they made lots of suggestions, and none of them worked. But someone suggested that I jump into a ice shower, because the shock this to my system will make it better. So I jumped into the ice shower. Unfortunately, I gasped when I'm shocked, at least in the manner of the cold water. So that actually made my hiccups insanely worse. And they're already so bad that I felt like my ribs were going to break. Not that I thought my ribs were going to break. Everyone gets really confused. I understand it takes a lot of pressure to crack ribs. I've cracked a rib before. It takes a lot of pressure. What I meant was that there was just a lot of pressure in my chest from the diaphragm spasms that I actually felt like in insane pain. So I rushed back to my room. I sent a message. I'm like, this isn't working. The people in the chat room were like, oh, by the way, these are the nerd fighters. Thank you, nerd fighters. <laughs> nerd fighters. <laughs> Lacey. Uh, Lacey's awesome. Lacey's my favorite nerd fighter ever because she suggested that I bite my hand. I actually suggested I bite my pinky, but I bit my hand because I thought it might actually bite through my pinky. I was that desperate. I bit my hand. The pain shocks me. And oh, my hiccups are gone. So that's really good. I go to bed. I wake up in the morning. I have to pay off my tuition. Good news. I actually have some money on my student account. So my tuition is a lot less and I actually have money left over that I can have groceries with. Yay, groceries. I can feed myself. Oh, that's another thing. I'll come back to that. I realize I can't find my keys. Where are my keys? I don't know. I decided to go and off and do my errands without my keys. I'm going to just take a couple minutes, drop by the bank, get a smoothie, run back to campus. Unfortunately, I go to the public gardens. I'm there for like two hours. I come back. It's almost time for class. I run to class. Class is fine. I come back. I still can't find my keys. Where are my keys? I'm freaking out. Where are my keys? Asking people suggestions. People make suggestions. I say, no, it's not there. People make crazier suggestions. I say, okay. Pe new people start making suggestions. The same suggestions as before. Have you checked your purse? Yes, I checked my purse. Anyways, I started looking for my keys. Looked everywhere. Cleaned the whole room. Finished unpacking. No keys. No keys. Where are the keys? Go crazy. Decide. Open up printer. See if it is in printer. Open up my printer. It is inside the printer. Literally inside of the printer. How did they get there? I don't know. I'm thinking they fell through the paper chute and then just fell through because there wasn't enough paper in it for there to actually make a dip for it to act. Not enough paper in there for the paper to block it from falling inside the printer and that's what happened. <sighs> okay, that was insanely fast. Um, also, um, I didn't realize this until I got to residence. I called when I was at the grocery store picking up food if I could put some things in the main kitchen because there's a kitchen in the residence building there's two kitchens on campus and as if I could use them it turns out that due to liability reasons you I don't know you're not allowed using the kitchen if you're a guest if you work for conference services over the summer you can use the kitchen but you can't use it if you're a guest so for the next seven weeks the only way that I can feed myself is vis-a-vis -vis, um, toaster and kettle uh, I have a microwave at home which I might have my brother bring up on his birthday why didn't I have him bring it up yesterday oh my god I'm gonna ask him that question when I got off the um when I finished doing my vlog but yeah it's been a crazy couple of days also I bought um uh Crayola crayons and some coloring books for my trip back from Newfoundland because someone suggested once I it was in my major day uh advice a day calendar that I got for 2008 uh that if you're ever on a long trip, pull out a crayons and a coloring book. It'll give people around you a story to tell. And I thought, hey, I like coloring. That would be fun. But um, that was on the trip back, so I was asleep for most of the time. So I didn't get to use it. So I'm really excited to try it out now. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, crazy thing. Sorry for talking so fast. I'm almost out of time, but I had to make sure that I didn't go over time. So if you have any questions, uh, just I'll just ask. I'll uh, make a video. Uh, respond to your questions and once again thank you lazy for saving me from the evil evil hiccups and uh sometimes keys are just in really weird places aren't they bye oh one more thing that's bugged me before i stop my video and i actually have 30 seconds to do this so i'm gonna do this really quickly the guy like he's always on when i'm on not really what happens is that i'm on i'm on and on i'm on i'm on the computer and he's never on he's never on he's never on i step away from the computer for like two minutes and then he messages me notices that i'm not on so he goes offline because he's only on to talk to me which is really really sweet but <sighs> i want to talk to him i want to tell him about my bad week and have him say there there it's okay or tell me about something else i miss him oh, I am just a Tuesday in a world of Friday nights And I get choked up on the foreground No, I never get it right Oh, not with one foot on the fence Not with both to one side Where's your memory when you've made up your 